Bowmanville. That's the answer. The best place you can buy a home this year is Bowmanville. And in this video, I'm going to tell you why I think Bowmanville or Clarington in general is one of the best places you can purchase this year, whether it's for personal use or for an investment. My name is Jesse McClellan and I'm a real estate agent here in Oshawa and I make video content to let you know what's going on in the real estate market in Durham region and the GTA. So if you'd like to stay up to date on everything that's happening in this area, please subscribe to this channel. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to speak with me about buying or selling a home in Bowmanville or Durham region, then you can use the link in the description to book a call with me at a time that works for you. So why Bowmanville and Clarington? I think Bowmanville is going to become the next Oshawa in a way. And what I mean by that is a large portion of the people looking to move to Durham region work in and around Toronto. And they commute every day for work and they look towards Durham region for housing because of its affordability relative to the homes in Toronto. And right now, many of those buyers draw the line at Whitby or Oshawa because those are the last two stops on the GO train. But this looks like it's changing in the near future. Metrolinx is planning on expanding the Lakeshore East train line out to Bowmanville. This would add four additional stops, including two extra in Oshawa, one in Curtis, and one in Bowmanville. Now this planned expansion has been talked about for over a decade, but it finally seems like it might be coming together in the next couple of years. In April 2022, Metrolinx confirmed the planned route and is allowing companies to submit competitive offers to perform work for the Bowmanville expansion project. Not long after that, in May 2022, Doug Ford announced the intention to invest $730 million to bring two-way all-day GO train service out to Bowmanville. I don't think we have an official timeline yet, but I do know that Doug Ford had mentioned previously 2023 or 2024, but that was before COVID and it's possible that that timeline has been delayed. I will include a link in the comments section if you want to read more about the planned GO train expansion. Once this expansion is complete or near completion, I think we'll start to see opinions on Clarington change and more and more people will want to be moving out there. And if you look at some of the homes being listed for sale in Bowmanville right now and what they're selling for, there are some really great opportunities available to get great bang for your buck when compared to the rest of Durham. There's everything from affordable condos all the way up to large detached homes on big lots, so there really is something for everyone. If you remember six or seven years ago before the 407 expansion to the 115 was completed, but after it was announced it was coming, so many people who lived in North Oshawa and the Lescard area were thrilled because of the positive impact it had on their home value. Values. That expansion helped connect not only Bowmanville and Clarington to Toronto, but it helped connect Peterborough as well. I think that this GO train expansion is going to have the same effect, if not bigger, because it not only helps connect more of Oshawa, Curtis, and Bowmanville to Toronto and the other Lakeshore East stops, but it also brings Port Hope and Peterborough that much closer to Toronto and the other Lakeshore East stops as well. This is going to increase the value of homes in Clarington, and that's why if you're looking to purchase a home in 2023, I think it's a great place to consider. Even if you don't look at it from an investment point of view, Clarington is a great place to live. There are a lot of beautiful family-friendly neighborhoods and there aren't really any areas you really need to worry about or stay away from. The schools are great, there are plenty of restaurant and shopping options, and there's a lot of growth that will continue to happen in the future. You can still find a lot of properties that have a more country feel to them and have the space and privacy that so many people are looking for, but you don't have to sacrifice convenience and location because just five minutes down the road and you're right back in town. And don't forget about the 418 highway that's no longer a toll road. You can use that highway to get all the way from the 401 up to the 407 with exits at Highway 2 and Taunton Road. This makes commuting so much faster and easier. There really is something for everyone and if you're able to make the location work, I would strongly suggest including it in your home search because I really do think that there's going to be a lot of growth and demand in the future. That's all for today's video. I know it was a short one, but I hope you found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching and sticking around until the end. And remember to subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you back here next week with an update on the market. Cheers. Bye.